Salutations, you are now on the ride. How many of you are there? There will be three playing. Roger. Is this the first ride? Oh goody, I've always enjoyed playing with virgins and will be sure to make your first time easier with some extra instructions during the game. Player one, go ahead. Thank you very much. Player two, please enter. Yes, thank you. Please type in your name. Well, isn't that intriguing? You have the same name as one of the 90210 kids. Player 1, buzz in on the letter Q, as in quarter flash. Player 2, your buzzer is the letter B. That's B, as in bug juice. Player 3, your buzzer is the letter P, as in podunk. These little elevator jumps always end too soon. Oh well, see you at the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack the Ride is sponsored by Mega Media Conglomerated. We use five media to drag people's personal lives through the mud in the name of objectivity. And now, here's your host, Guy Towers! Hello and welcome! Well, you may have chosen Geraldo over the plague, but uh, we may still have to quarantine you. Alrighty, first off, we gotta give you your screws. Alright, you is gonna get some screws, here you go. Alright, now pay attention and I'll tell you about a new and improved way to screw your neighbor. When you see a question you don't want to answer, buzz in immediately and start hitting the S key. That's S for screw. Now every time you do, you're going to be firing screws into the screen, totally annihilating the question. When you're done blasting, then you force your friend to answer it. That's called screwing blackjack style. So uh, if you're not the one dishing out the screws, you better be reading as fast as you can. Alright, I hope you got all that. Ready? Time to meet the press. Player three, hit your buzzer and lock in the can. This baby's gonna be... How to be a smarty pants reporter. Okay, 3,189 bucks if you can nail this one. Uh, shall we? Okay, imagine you're a reporter and your boss tells you to write an article. What might you hand into her? A sheet of paper with that written on it. A you go, player three. Grammatically speaking, words like a, an, and the are considered articles. And generally speaking, smart aleck moves like that are gonna get your ass fired. Okay, player three, hit your buzzer. The category is... That Wall Street Journal is rough around the edges. Question, please? Say the Wall Street Journal decides to toughen up its image by calling itself the Mean Streets Journal. What will you not see in its pages? An advice column by Robert... Player three, do it! The movie Mean Streets did not involve Marlon Brando. It was actually the first movie Scorsese, De Niro, and Keitel made together. Or am I thinking of Goodfellas? Or wait, was that Casino? Or no, no, Taxi Drive. Oh, I don't know. Buzz in, player three, and let's see how much cash is riding on this one. Bing. There was a journalist who sucked and hacking was his trade -o. H A C K S H A C K S H A C K S and hacking was his trade -o. Welcome to Hacks! Alright, here's a quick explanation of how this thing works. You're gonna get a series of puzzles. When you figure out each answer, wait for the first letter of that answer to get highlighted. Then buzz in. If you're right, I'll give you 500 bucks, and you collect that letter. But I'm taking away 500 every time you're wrong. Be the first one to collect all the letters, and you get the bonus. Got it? Well, I hope so, because here we go. Read me a bedtime plan. Story. Newswire service. needs one. Welcome! The Queen's hubby. The King! Ted! 
Dead on Nightline. Apple. Cisco and Ebert are filled blank. Critics. Blank Illustrated. SI. Downs on 2020. First name of Kramer on Seinfeld. Finn Pal Tom. Sawyer. Not video. I hear you. One more letter for the bonus player one. What scissors do? Cut. Popeye's tattoo. Well, player two pulls up. Viking comic strip. Agar the horrible. Superman's alter ego, Clark Blank. Super. River's beginning. Let it flow. player one all right player three it's all you right now but uh, let's see what happens all right player two buzz it hey, there's some cash there all right what do we got going to bet with your publisher okay um you know that health magazine called self mm -hmm. well check this out Suppose Self Magazine gets sold to a Buddhist publisher. What will its new name most likely be? Greater Self Magazine, No Self Magazine, Your Self Magazine. Player one. As my endless studies have taught me, the concept of no self is one of the key ideas in Buddhist teachings. And it comes as no surprise that the Buddhists want in on the women's magazine market. I mean, now that they know that Brad Pitt sells. Come on. Player one, give me some buzzer. Let's check out that cash. Get ready for... We all live in a yellow magazine. Ready, set, here you go. Which of these headlines is the best example of yellow journalism? Does Bert ever not wear a... You go, player three. Do you ever not get the answer wrong? <laughs> player one, player two. All yours, player one. Trip player two, what's the right answer number four? No, you didn't. <laughs> player one. Must have more quarters. Must have more quarters. Yellow journalism is meant to sensationalize a topic and make people want to buy papers. Learn more about it on the Channel 5 Action News segment, how sensationalistic newspaper articles can kill you tonight. Player one, hit your buzzer and see how much cash you can make. Oh, Mondo Casho, nice going. Here's your category. If he keeps moving his head like that, it'll fall off. Now's the time, player two. Let's see you get back into the competition here, okay? What do you say? If Stone Phillips were actually Lodestone Phillips, what would it in my- Player two! Lodestone is a naturally magnetic mineral. And coming up, a groundbreaking story on... Hey, get the smiling cabinet off me! Oh. And the silverware! Just get it Let's go, player two. Buzz in and let's see how much cash we're playing for. Sweet buzzing. Lots of cash on this one. All right, category coming. The slimy underbelly of society. All right, you're going to have to buzz in and type your answer on this one, because I'm trying to remember the name of this guy. What is his name? God, think. He was a correspondent for 2020, and then he was the host of a tabloid talk show. You know, he had his nose broken during a show, and he opened a gangster's vault and found... 
Go for it, player one. Type. Oh, yeah. Oh, the investigative journalist on 2020 who got big ratings for finding nothing in Al Capone's vaults, which led him to getting his own talk show where he got his nose broken, is none other than Jerry Rivers. I mean, Geraldo Rivera. <laughs> Wait a minute. Tons of hype about Capone's vault, big letdown. Tons of hype about Seinfeld's last episode, big letdown. And Geraldo was on both of them. Coincidence? I don't think so. Okay, player one, hit your buzzer and let's see what's in the kitty. This one will be... It's like a TV, but it's smarter than I am. Questions coming. Which of these is the best PC way? Player two, grab it! All right, player two, who you get? Player three, it's revenge time! One for three, huh? Okay. At the end of the century, almost half of American households will own PCs. And sadly, the rest of the computerless nation will remain geekiness challenged. Ah, guess what, player two? You're the one who's screwed. <laughs> It's your buzzer, player three. All right, player three. Time out for players one and two, because player three, you're going solitaire with a dis or dat. And this dis or dat questions category is lies as big as the universe. All right, I'm going to read off seven items. For each one, you need to tell me if it's a celestial body, a tabloid, or both. As each one pops up, if it's a celestial body, press 1. If it's the name of a tabloid, press 2. Press 3 if it's both. And press 4 if you can't think of the right answer. You cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. You got 30 seconds to nail all seven. You're out of time when that wire's all filled up. And we're up. Sun, celestial galaxy. Black hole! Enquirer! Star! Hey, hey, skip it! Come back! current standings and player one's in the lead okay player two hit that buzzer and let's see what you're gonna be going for on this one all right some good cash riding on this one and the category is occupations that sound worse than they really are okay now you're gonna have to think back for this one you know I'll bet your dad made you rake the leaves in the yard and you're still pissed about it right well, if you grew up to become a muckraker, how could you get back at your dad? Hit it, player one! The muckrakers were writers and journalists in the early 20th century who exposed corruption in industry and business. Come here! You know, I may be a ruthless exploiter of the proletariat, but I can still whip your butt! Hey, bring the belt! Alright, buzz in, player one, and let's see how much cash is up for grabs. This one's called the 11 o'clock news. Okie doke, for this one, buzz in and type the answer that completes this quote. No news is good news with... Your move, player two, type it in and hit return. Well, you're wrong, but at least you're not attractive. Here you go, player three. Hey, try taking the needle out of your arm next time, okay? <laughs> what do you got? The news segment on the children's program, The Great Space Coaster, always contained the catchphrase, No news is good news with Gary Gnu. <laughs> Gary, don't pronounce the G's. I'm working on it. Ah, uh, damn it. Player one, buzz in. How much cash are we gonna make on this one? Category is... The show's over. Now go away. Coming at you. If news anchor Maria Shriver were to live up to her name and shrive people on TV, how would she most likely end her... All yours, player one. 
To shrive is to give or receive a confession of sins. You know, at first they found that the on-screen baptisms tended to decrease the viewership, you know, until she started wearing that bikini. <laughs> it looks kind of weird with that collar, though. Player one, hit your buzzer and see how much cash you can make. Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm going to be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. And each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing. Not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. Remember the clue. It's got to be a match that fits this clue. Someone special's on the air. And remember, your matches have to follow that clue. Have fun. Let's see those final scores. Player one's got it. He's short and squat. Okay. 